Just going to talk through how we recorded our tune Tiran Gothad. As you can see, I use Cakewalk, which is pretty much the same as most other DAWs. I've got 10 parts, 10 tracks in there, and I'm just going to quickly go through each one, show you what I used, and throw in a few comments. I was after that very dark late night feel that Burial captured in some of his amazing tunes. So there's a pulse there and I'm using a piece of software called Groth or Growth. Very much aimed at people making Norse neo-folk, dark ambient kind of music. So there's that dull thud. So I've then layered it up with a drum that's actually got some kind of sound and texture to it. Dark Era by Eduardo Tarilonte gets used on a lot of our tunes. And as you can see, we've used a, a shaman drum there. Very, very simple part. A lot of our music has a drone of some kind in it. So here, we've used something in growth again. Oh, and by the way, I apologize for the horrible glitchy noises and I haven't quite got all this software for screen recording quite loaded correctly. I need to have a work on that. So there'll be a few extraneous sounds. Now lately I've been getting more and more human voices into things that we do. This is a software package called Omen, which is very much about human voices, and this is a patch called Vocal Layers, where you can layer up various things and put effects on them and pan them in various directions. And there's just a quick look at some of the different things that are in there, lots of varying styles of overtone singing and throat singing and so on. Very, very atmospheric. Just bouncing back to the beginning now. So the first instrument sound as such is a gittern, which is a medieval plucked instrument. I like this sound. I use it in a lot of tunes. And this is in another this is uh, another sound from um, Eduardo Terrellonte from Era 2, which is Medieval Instruments. Once again, a very simple melodic line that just tells you where you are. And we just bounce back again. So at this point, I'm trying to capture you're out in the mist among the barrow mounds. There are standing stones and ancient tombs. The mist is close. Here are whispers from Omen again. And it just brings in this slightly ghostly feel, ancient barrow whites whispering from the mist. And we then bring in another plucked instrument from the ancient era Persia software, and it's called a kopuz, which from what I gather is pretty much a word that means instrument kind of gets applied to a few instruments. Uh, here is a nice plucked loo. It's not that different from the guitar in what it's doing, but it just brings a slightly different tonality for a couple of sections of the track. And then we bring in some of labelled percussion. 
and that has come from Omen again. Yeah, solo that for you. It's kind of a rattly percussion, and once again, just add something a little bit undefined. You're not quite sure what's making that sound. Now, both Omen and Growth both have something very similar to this um, next part. It's almost like a step sequencer that's been designed just for vocal sounds. So you can see it's stepping through the sequence there. And for each step of the sequence you can control the length of the note and you can make this particular syllable then for the sound. So a lot of creativity can be done there, just solo that for a moment. And you can put this in almost any kind of music and it just makes it sound mysterious and just adds a whole layer of, of texture and feeling. And the danger is overusing it, so I've been trying not to overuse it. And the very, very final sound on the list is a sound that's only at the very beginning and end of the track, and it's from a sampler called Asgard, a sample player called Asgard, uh, produced by the very well-known producer Dunhaim. And it's just the sound of ravens. And having that at the beginning and the end just gives the track some atmosphere, I think. And once again, just puts you in this outdoor environment. And this sample has a lot of great sounds in it, but I find that they're really good for kind of textural sounds, drones and background sounds, rather than up in your face lead instrument sounds. But a combination of all these pieces of software means I can create a track like this which is very atmospheric, in my humble opinion. And I think we've actually achieved very much what I was aiming for. <laughs>